take this to the house. I know. Sergei, take this. I've already marked it. We mixed up the boxes. No water. 150. How do you expect me to know? I don't want him now. Full day. You're awake? No. We're going to the market. You'll help me with my shop. I'll need to go up for a moment. You'll cover for me. Uh-huh. Let's go. I can't. Get up. I can't today. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? I practiced wrestling for ten years. Get up. <sighs> Good morning. Morning. Come on, get up. Did Yana call? No. Does it hurt? Sorry. I thought it was true. <sighs> what did you think was true? What? The thing with this girl. How many classmates does she have? Do you think I slept with all of them? <sighs> I believe you. But you... You don't come to me anymore. We sleep in separate rooms. It's like we live in a chapel. And you, why don't you come to me? I do get closer. Simply, you're either busy, or you pretend not to understand what I'm doing. I have to get back to work to pay for the chapel, as you call it, and your institute. What if you get a little late today? I have a headache. Good morning, Alexander Borisic. Any news? Not yet. I spent all night searching for her in clubs and dive bars. You searched wrong. Keep it down, yeah? I'm trying to sleep. Hey, sorry I punched you. No hard feelings. You hit like a girl. I want to help you. I have no one but you. When you sent me to steal that car, didn't you think about this? What do you mean by that? It was you who was supposed to drive that car. You're the one who should have been locked up. I didn't know it was being tracked. I couldn't care less about what you knew or didn't know. Do you want to help me? Buy me a new bed. I'm broke. Well, think of something. I don't understand anything. Why start at 8? It's a matter of discipline, Jan. Today we start at 10, tomorrow at 11, and the day after tomorrow we're closed. Come in. Oh. It doesn't smell very good, does it? It smells fine in here. Now let's get to work. Ugh. I need a coffee. I have chicory in the back room. Chicory? Chicory, chicory. It's similar to coffee, but it's cheaper and healthier, and it melts the fat away. <laughs> well, it doesn't show. I started drinking it recently. Hmm, what do we have here? Let's see. Black with black. 
white with white. And it's better to hide this out of sight so no one sees it. By the way, Tomochka, I studied at a business school in Italy. I did my internship at Armani, so you can trust me. We also have an Armani shop. An Armenian guy works there. You can boss him around instead. I'm helping you. You should say thank you. It would be better if you told me what you plan to do with your life, assistant. Nothing. I'll reach an agreement with Dad and leave her house. Don't worry, he needs me. What for? Hello, Toma. Didn't you know that parents need their children? I wasn't needed. They sent me to the orphanage when I was three years old. <laughs> Surely because of a bad character. What did you just say? Forgive me. I will reach an agreement with Dad. I need his money and his support. I want my freedom. Freedom, Yana, has to be earned. Money has to be earned. And not lying down in the bathtub five times a day like you do. Really? Yes. Sales! Crazy discounts! What do you think you're doing, huh? We're having a sale, Toma. Discounts at Shop 139! Pistachio, your favorite. Yes, of course. Now I can eat sweets. I was on a diet for two months like a fool. I have to pay this debt. What for? You only open up with the group members. I can't support you. I can't understand you. They asked him to steal the same car that got him locked up. I was the one who got him into all this, do you understand? Why didn't you tell me this before? Mm, I didn't want you to worry about it. Never mind. <sighs> this is not the sea, just a lake near Evanegrad. It's very beautiful. Oh, come on, let's get away this week. And the money? I'll fix it. Will you come to my house today? I'll think about it. What are you up to? My husband is giving up competitions. Svetlana, how is Kostya supposed to play? He's injured. First of all, he must fulfill his contract. He has been playing like this for five years, taking his pills and heading to the court. A sports doctor prescribed them to him. Why won't you let him take them? Because he's addicted. <sighs> you know what? When I brought him here, they told me he would get better and learn to control himself. And now he came up with this nonsense. Aren't you aware of all the money he's lost? I'm not planning to lose any more. He has a contract. And he can't break it. Hey, how are you? I thought you were fired. I am. I came to see you. I ran into Sveta. How are you feeling? How? Like this. She started again? Can't you see how I'm feeling? Start. Start of what? Sveta is right. Without tennis, I'm nobody. In two years, no one will remember me. Two years? What am I saying? They don't even remember me now. She canceled a contract for six months and met with these freeloaders. I'm 35. It's now or never. If I don't do it, Sveta will ask for divorce. Well, you just regained your form. You yourself decided to terminate the contract. What changed? You couldn't stand your ground? Well, I will be able to play for half a year. I will make it. You'll relapse again. Why are you so sure? Did I go through my rehab for nothing? I get it now. I used to take pills, yes. Now I'm only going to take them to play. Once I win, I'll quit. It's that easy. You need to understand. Tennis is everything to me. You haven't understood anything, Cost. You don't take pills to play tennis. You play tennis to take pills. You shouldn't leave the clinic. 
You're no longer my psychologist. This is no longer your business. All right, I won't speak to you like your psychologist. You have a tennis ball instead of a brain cost. Do you want to live? Stay here. I would punch you in the face, but I need my hand to play. <laughs>